Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to add run command splash screens. Now these are really cool. Usually when you launch an emulator, you'll see this screen for a few seconds. I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. Pretty cool. Show you one more here. So before you do anything to your working RetroPie setup, back it up. It's a given, really. Like, if you got a working system that you spent hours and hours on, you should already have a backup on your desktop. This is very simple to do. Rookervik has created a pack for us, and he is over at the RetroPie forum. He does all kinds of splash screens, an amazing artist, so go over there and thank him personally. We're going to scroll over to RetroPie, enter the menu. We're going to go to RetroPie Setup. Scroll to Configuration Tools, and we're going to find Run Command. Launch Menu Art needs to be enabled. Mine's already enabled. Now it's disabled. Now it's enabled. Cancel. Back. Exit. We're going to be moving to the PC now and transfer all of our artwork over network. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is online and connected to the same network as your PC. Let's go over there now. All right, guys, so this link will be in the description and don't forget to thank Rokervik. So go ahead and join the forum. Give him a thank you personally because he does a lot of hard work. He created all of these for us for free. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna download the zip pack that he created, the pixel run command splash screens. It's gonna download really quick. I've already placed it on my desktop here. We're gonna need to extract it, so extract. And inside of here, we have all of our corresponding emulator folders. So if we go to 3DO, we get this awesome splash screen here. I'm going to connect to my Raspberry Pi over network now. You can do this by going to any file explorer, going to the quick access bar at the top, and typing in backslash backslash all capital retro pi, or you can substitute that with backslash backslash and the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. We're going to open up the configs folder. And I'm just going to snap these. So here's my config folder on my Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to go through here and find SNES. Now he's created two PNGs for us. The SNES for the US and the European version. So we'll go to SNES. And drop it right in here. It needs to be named launching.png. He's got everything set up for us already. Do that for all of your systems. Now I'm not sure if I copied all of these and merged them over. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to copy a few of them over to be safe. N64. Let's do Nintendo DS. NES. And finally, I'll just throw in Neo Geo right here. So that's it. Now we can go back to the Raspberry Pi. After you've transferred everything, do a quick reboot, start, scroll down to quit, restart emulation station. Yes. So I'll show you a few of them. I added the Nintendo DS one. I also added the Neo Geo. And I added the Nintendo NES. So that's it. Pretty cool addition to your RetroPie setup. Go ahead and subscribe to Rooker Vic's YouTube channel. Links in the description and on screen now. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.